We have made a time-telling device without using electricity or batteries. This is a butterfly feeder. And we've been making key rings, animals and fidget spinners. I'm here at Grange Primary School where 32 out of the 50 schools involved in this trial of making with 3D have come together to show each other what they've been able to make. They do a concept drawing and then they, they can create it on the 3D um, app and then they see the end product which is quite exciting. People that were wanting to use the power of a potato, we had solar panels, we had cogs, all sorts. fantastic thing about this project is that kids as young as year one all the way through to year seven are able to go through different stages of thinking and skill development. The integration between the curriculum areas is really important especially when we're talking STEM um, and using 3D design is really easy for that. It goes out in the sun and the sun moves so the um, shadow moves it's a birdhouse and, and for the roof of it we've got it so it's on a slope so that the water will go into it when it rains. Here's our moon key ring. It's a moon key ring. So you're going through a big range of skills all in one place. What that means is that kids are understanding that the future of manufacturing is in their own brains, in the way that they can design, the way that they can solve problems and then they get manufactured and they're able to take them out into the real world and see if people want them. This is a fantastic project. It's about the future of our state and it's also tremendously fun for the kids involved, which is a great combination. We've got receptions at our school that are just starting to think about the engineering process too, so they love it. There's no behaviour in the room when they're engaged with STEM. Technology is changing so much these days, it's really important for them to be able to access these tools for the future, for their future learning. And it's really fun.